right there we Hi have uh, the beautiful Tammy we are down here at the Mississippi River Valley I've got my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan right here and uh, 12 month old uh, F2 uh, Lycan Shepherd uh, K bar there beautiful day in the valley come along we're uh, just walking into the off-leash dog park area here. It's morning about what, 10 a.m., Tim? Probably close to that. Yeah, right around 10 a.m. Give or take uh, 15, 20 minutes either way. Well, that doesn't sound very healthy. That's him. Beautiful out today, huh? A little cooler, huh? Okay. Yeah, I like that. What's it supposed to get up to today, do you know? 80 something. 80 something. It's got to be probably uh, low to mid 70s right now. eat a lot of greens when they're down here mostly stinging nettle but they uh, eat various grasses and other leaves too
Yeah, maybe on the way back, go to the beach way. Okay. That way any mud or anything, they can get rinsed off a little bit. <laughs> you look tired. I am tired. Did you not sleep well last night? Yeah. They're working. Yeah. One day off. <laughs> One glorious day. Amy works in nursing, so she puts in a lot of hours. That's him eating some stinging nettle over there. You notice the nettle's all starting to flower now. Yeah. Yeah. Some of our channel merch. Yeah, super comfy. Yeah. That's the red hand logo. It's the front and back. We've got uh, five new shirt designs uh, on our Teespring store. Check them out, they're all pretty nice. It's a good way to support the channel and get something cool in return. We appreciate you just watching and uh, sharing our videos, but uh, if you're looking to do more, the t-shirts are a cool way to do it. Yeah, very nice. Super thin, I like the material. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the tri-blend, right? Yep, super soft. Yeah, we offer the five different designs on uh, almost 100 products. So, again, check it out. Sciatic is acting up. I gotta kneel down for a second. Uh, my back's been bugging me a lot the last week or so. I mean, it bugs me all the time, but more more than normal. So uh, if you see me stop and periodically kneel down, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm uh, relieving the nerve pressure. For those who are new to the channel, and we've gotten a lot of new people, welcome, welcome to the channel. Uh, this channel started as a vlog of uh, my recovery from a pretty severe injury I got on the job as an animal warden. I got uh, hit by a truck loading an injured dog into my animal control vehicle uh, late at night one night. I messed up my knee and back pretty good. Recovery's been a long process, but it's going good. That's how the channel started. I worked as an animal warden for almost two decades. Before that, I was uh, in the military. Briefly in between those two spots, uh, I worked in nursing briefly also, and that's where I met the beautiful Tammy at work. Kurgan over there grazing. Yeah. Again, this is a huge wilderness off leash park. I'm surprised because uh, yeah. looks like there are going to be a lot of uh, people down here today from all the cars we saw up above. They might all be congregating down yeah, at the yeah. main area here. This is a huge park, but uh, 
the majority of people kind of just hang out in one big area down there by the beach but there's tons of trails through here that uh, you can take uh, and yeah, we prefer to do that we like to walk through the park instead of just sitting in one spot and watching the ducks play there's a couple miles worth of trails down here if you walk around and hit all the various trails through the park the off-leash area there's uh, hundreds of miles of trails uh, along the Mississippi River Valley on both sides of the river throughout the Twin Cities. I spent my life uh, as a kid uh, running around playing and fishing along the river. Uh, I feel pretty deeply tied to the Mississippi. I don't know, it's been a big part of my life since I was a kid. Now those... Uh, who are from the south will think the Mississippi River looks pretty small up here. Well, this is where it starts in Minnesota. By the time it works its way down south, it's been fed by uh, several other rivers, which is why it's so big down there. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. again. We uh, walked in with them at the park on a leash uh, when we first got here. How you doing? the Rona. <laughs> Man, beautiful day on the river, huh? Wow. I like it when you get these big white fluffy clouds. Yeah. Come on, Good boy. Man, it's just beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's, I think it's that ball he keeps squeaking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the ball. <laughs> we kept trying to figure out what that squeak noise was. We kept trying to figure out what the squeak noise was. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I thought that was like a little animal at first period yeah. out here. Come on. Gaber. There's some rowers over there, you see? What's that? Kayaks. Oh, fine. Yeah. Man, it's just beautiful, huh? Yeah. Not too hot. The thing I ma think I'd make it a little nicer is you get like a little bit of a breeze, breeze coming through yeah. here. Yeah, it's kind of still right now. Very humid summers here in Minnesota, despite being uh, pretty far north because of all the water in this state. There's like over 11,200 and some lakes, several rivers, one of the lakes being uh, the Great Lake, Lake Superior. Hey, come on. earlier we might catch him out now <laughs> Fred yeah. you don't want to name him Keck <laughs> Keck Keck yeah Keck the frog you don't know who Keck the frog is the Trump frog thing oh. <laughs> oh. I think that's what they call it Keck oh, funny. yeah, yeah. I think Keck in Korean is supposed to mean laughter. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they also use it for laughing out loud in World of Warcraft. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Good to know. That's why they call me the Dex. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a, that felt like a lumberjack there. Uh, <laughs> rolling on that thing. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Sleep all night. Oh, Sorry, it's a Monty Python joke. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Onward. <laughs> Go on. Trigan's like, I want to go back the other way where all the mud is. <laughs> Well, no, where he was rolling around in the mud was back there. But if we go that way, there's no place for him to rinse off. If we go this way, he can go through all this mud and still rinse off up here. At least that's the thinking. <laughs> Yeah, 
Man, that stinks. It was pretty smelly here yesterday too, it's swampy. swampy it's a uh, back flood off the river here it's also fed by a uh, natural spring down there clear water spring Beautiful day, huh? Beautiful day. Beautiful dogs. Oh, thank you. Must have been a little bit of a ride coming down that, huh? I carried it quite a bit. <laughs> Come on. Good boys. Thank you, though, very much. I really appreciate the offer. That was very nice of you. Might want to wipe it off. You get the slime on it. Do you want to head down to the cave or yeah, head back the other way? That's kind of weird. Carved like a little building there. Sandstone. A big old spider thing.
<laughs> well, if you made it along this far, thanks for coming along. I hope you're enjoying it. We are. I don't know, I've been doing a new format lately. You guys will have to tell me if you like it. Uh, I've been just uh, doing the hikes as all one big video instead of chopping it up into two, three, or four. And then if there's anything interesting in the hike along the way, I then cut that out uh, as its own separate video. Uh, people seem to like that, but let me know. Uh, that way the people who enjoy the full hike uh, can enjoy the full experience without having to wait for several videos. And uh, those who are just here for the interesting bits uh, here and there can uh, watch those without wasting time uh, going through the, no the, ho the whole hike. At least uh, that's my thinking and it uh, seems like people like it. So again, give me some feedback and let me know if you like it that way or if you want me to go back to just cutting it up and uh, you know, three, four, uh, 15, 20 minute videos. Someone was eating some uh, oysters, clams. I'm not sure what's the difference between an oyster or a clam. Do you know, Tim? Mm -hmm. Or is it just uh, two words for the same thing? We're coming up on uh, a Gartha cave. I've showed this in many videos. It's not the uh, mythical uh, inner earth realm of Gartha. It is uh, just a local cave that goes by the uh, same name. It's a pretty cool cave though that a lot of people don't know about. It has a uh, small natural spring going through it. You can't uh, go in it with my dogs they uh, couldn't safely uh, go in there the way you get in is from up above and you come down into the cave but I'm uh, happy to show you the entrance I've been in it several times as a kid I think the last time I was in it was probably uh, I don't know 10 15 years ago but there you go right there That's for the thumbnail. <laughs> see, can you see the cave and me? Tammy, look at my viewfinder. Can you see both the cave and me? See in the viewfinder. Here, Tammy. Yeah. Here, hold this for a second. I'm going for a thumbnail here. Oh, look, there goes the sheriff. Body Were they? I wonder if they found it. That's usually when you see the sheriff on the river is when they're looking for a body. So back up so you can get me the cave in my arm. So can you get all of us? Are we all there? Oh, cool. You gotta move closer. You? No. There. Hopefully we've got a good thumbnail. So again, this is a uh, Agartha Cave. Uh, again, not named after the inner, uh, it's not the uh, entrance to the inner uh, mystical uh, inner earth realm, Agartha. I'll put some information in the video description regarding what that is. But it's a cool local cave that goes by the same name. It has a uh, natural spring that runs through it. And uh, you can go way back into it. Uh, it eventually gets uh, choked out and narrows once you go way back inside, but uh, it's uh, very cool. All this stuff here used to be attached to that lip up there, and it just recently fell. It's uh, many years of uh, hard water. <laughs> 
the way you get in is you come down from a path up there and you go like this and you drop down into the cave my dogs couldn't safely do that and it'd be too hard to lift them back up once you did but uh yeah it goes way back again agartha cave hope you enjoyed it Yeah, it's a beautiful cave. I'm gonna have to go there uh, sometime without the dogs and film inside. You don't really ever come down here without the dogs. Luckily, I haven't done it yet, but uh, I'll have to make a special trip just for that. We used to spend a lot of time, uh, especially when our uh, kids. kids were young, uh, going and exploring all the local caves here in the Twin Cities. There's tons of them. If you want to see videos of what they look like, uh, search uh, YouTube for uh, the Milk Truck Cave, uh, Candyman Cave, uh, Tunnel of Tor, uh, yeah, Tunnel of Terror Cave, uh, the Stairway to Heaven. Those are all local caves in the area here that uh, I spent a lot of time exploring. I think it's just the sheriff again coming up the river. They must still be yeah, looking. Yeah, there was some, they were looking. They must still be looking. Down looking. Down around that area, down by the Minnehaha Falls. Yeah. Area down there. That's usually why they're on the river, is yeah, looking for a body. Yesterday. Ramsey County Sheriff. They find bodies on the river here all the time, especially because we're just downstream from the uh, block and dam. <laughs> What are you rubbing on? What's on that stick? There's something on that stick he's rubbing on. No, it's, I don't see anything. He just, he, he just likes it for some reason. Too slow. What's that, Cam? What is that? It's like something gross. Like you know what it is? It's, it's, a, a, gummy. it's a lifesaver gummy. It's melted in the sun. Nice. Come on. Oh, that's a nice one. Is it? Yeah, look at it. Sounds kind of swirls. Oh. Another one for the tumbler. Right? Come on. I'm going to have to get you a fanny pack to carry those in. Yes. We just so happen to sell those in our Teespring I store. Know. <laughs> I've got uh, four different designs. They're actually kind of cool. Thinking about picking one up to carry my camera equipment in. Yeah, I like the one with the runes. I like that one, and then I like the the one with the red hand or yeah. the white hand. No, the red. Yeah, yeah, they're all pretty cool. Yeah. The Brotherhood one with the swirl logo, I like too. The one with the, you know, it's kind of sideways. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> It's going to be a long hike. Yeah, they're coming back again. That's got to be what they're doing, is looking for a body. Well, somebody went swimming, maybe not yesterday, and maybe more, and then they, people saw them go under and not come back up. Oh, really? And then they started searching yesterday, or excuse me, that night, and then yesterday they resumed. Well, but I never heard nothing more. Rest in peace to whoever yeah. it is, and condolences to uh, those who knew him. People just don't understand that the Mississippi currents underneath, and 
Oh, well, that one's not the share. No. You know, there's also Yeah. It happens a lot in the winter, too. Yeah. I've been down down here several times. As a matter of fact, there's videos uh, I have uh, I filmed in the winter where they found bodies down there. That may work. We watch. Yeah. We, all, we know when something's going on and they have the cops lined up in the sheriff. Yeah. Somebody was eating them or something. They're like, Dad, we know we're going up here. Uh -huh. They said they're like, Dad, we know we're going up here. <laughs> After a while, don't they? What's that? I said those field stones get a little challenging to walk on after a while. Very good. Up. Gay bar. Up. Good boys. <laughs> we keep bumping into each other. Back here, Good boy. That uh, dog was just letting my dogs know that uh, it wants its face respected. That's what the growling you heard was. That was the other dog doing a little canine communication. You can see my dogs. Uh, respond to that stuff very well because they've been socialized well. They don't overreact when a dog uh, snaps at them in a situation like that. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that thing's beautiful. I think that's something that tame me mm -hmm. So pretty. A little forward to the light. Let's see if this <laughs> it's so pretty. It is pretty. I love it. Let's see if our little frog buddy's over here. Kick. <laughs> Fred will get more love.
The witch's bowl is still there. We're outside the uh, one of the Mississippi witch huts. The Mississippi witch. Frog buddies here. No, I don't see him, Cam. Yeah, synchronized shaking. <laughs> he came over to me, Tam, and stepped in a big drop off. Yeah. Yeah, I have to pick a couple of those up from the Teespring store. Yeah. Way or up here and check over there. Yeah. The spring. Come on. Up. Good boys. The stinging nettle we're going to be walking through. Fortunately, Tammy and I are pretty resistant to it. It has these little hairs up and down it. And uh, those are an irritant to a lot of people. Fortunately, uh, it doesn't really bother me, so I can walk through it in shorts. and I may feel a slight tingling, but I don't get a rash or any kind of major irritation from it. Hey, one. My dogs love eating it. Kurgan, come on. Oh, Jesus. You see you just jump over K-Bar? Yeah. I hope I get that on film. He hurdled them. That was pretty cool. You see these things here? These are the bane of Lobo. Boy, uh, in another couple months when those things, those things turn into like these stickers they release from the plants, they get so caught up in Lobo's fur. You know, uh, my lichen shepherds and also Kurgan have a coarser coat than Lobo does. And so it kind of uh, repels birds and stuff like that. I mean, they might get some in their tail occasionally, but they don't really pick them up throughout their coat. Lobo, they get really embedded in them. It's a, it's a drag getting them out of them sometimes. He's just got kind of a, a softer coat that isn't as coarse, and so it just seems to be a magnet for that kind of stuff. I don't know, if you look at some of my fall videos, you'll see him all full of burrs, <laughs> right, Tim? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm home for about an hour afterwards picking them out. <laughs> Again, that stinging nettle that he's eating right there. Gurgan too, it's on both sides of the bath. Supposedly there's a plant that usually grows right by the stinging nettle that you're supposed to be able to rub on it that neutralizes it. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. I remember learning that at camp when I was a kid. And then uh, somebody reminded me of it again in, uh, in the comments recently too. I forget who that was. It might have been on Instagram or YouTube. I'm not sure. So if you were the one who uh, reminded me of that, thanks. I'm talking to you. It's amazing uh, just how much uh, everything changes around here with the four seasons. I mean, it gets a completely different look each season. I've been doing this film in my walks for, I don't know, five years now, I think, Tim. Mm -hmm. I think I started uploading in uh, 
2015 but uh, yeah you can see uh, each season just how, uh, how different everything looks that's like a counter and a dog for how you doing beautiful day for a walk huh hey there hey buddy come on Kirk. big guys Somebody sounds like they're looking for their dog up him. <laughs> I'm not sure. It kind sounds of, like it. Yeah, it does kind of sound like him. I don't know, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is a huge wilderness uh, leash park. Got a dog you looking for? Come on, Chase. How you doing? Good, you? Hey, yeah, little guy. Hey, cutie. <laughs> Come here, Kurgan. Let's go, Barney. Hey, Barney. Come here. <laughs> Someone was excited. <laughs> I'll wait for you for a second. <laughs> Kurgan, come here. Come on, Barney. You guys keep going. He's going to keep staying five feet away from me. All right. Take care. Come on, Barney. Kurgan. Up. Kurgan. Up. Barney's being naughty. <laughs> yeah. They uh, have been through that with rescue dogs before I've been working with. Until they get with the program, you sometimes uh, get those stubborn dogs. He usually. Huh? He said he was on vacation and just came back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, Tammy said that uh, the guy said he was just on vacation and just got home and just took him out for a walk and Barney's mad. <laughs> Usually if I have a dog that uh, I'm having issues with recall with, one way to really work on that is to put a long line on him. And uh, that's taken a, a length of cord uh, between 50 and 100 feet long, something light. You can use military uh, parachute uh, 550 cord. You can use a cotton clothesline. You know, they also sell long lines for that kind of stuff, but you attach that onto the collar and you let the dog drag it. And uh, if you need to recall it, all these bags are covering stumps, by the way. If you need to uh, recall it and it doesn't want to recall, you can easily just go up and step on the line and use that to uh, force the call, the, the dog to do a recall. And after uh, a lot of repetition, the dog uh, starts to think that uh, you can basically reach out and make it recall when you want and uh, starts to be more compliant. One thing you want to do when you do uh, recall the dog with the long line is you don't want to be harsh or scolding to it. You just recall the dog to you using the long line to pull it in, keeping an upbeat, positive attitude. And then you praise the dog lavishly when you get it and uh, you know tell him what a good boy he is. You know, that's the problem a lot of people have when they're teaching their dogs recall and their dog doesn't come and they get mad and they get more frustrated like you could see that the gentleman there was frustrated and that was making his dog not want to come to him too you know if he would have uh, started being happy and start petting and playing with his dogs and stuff like that Barney would have came to him 
but that's uh, one of the things that really works. leg of this walk it's uh, about 52 minutes into it damn it's a long one 52 minutes uh, but uh, if you've made it this far I hope you enjoyed it I kneel down for a second my sciatic is acting up but yeah I hope that tip uh, using a long line if you have a dog that isn't being uh, cooperative uh, was helpful to some of you You know, I think one of the most important things with uh, developing a dog that uh, acts like my dog is very compliant, and that is to build a strong bond with them. You know, I don't like using treats to train dogs. I think treat trained dogs uh, become more focused on the treat than they do the handler, and I think that damages the bond and that, that they don't uh, respond as well in situations where there's something that they desire more than a treat. Again, that's just been my experience over the years. I've been training with dogs for 30 years, but uh, you know, I do know there are some people who have a lot of success with it. Uh, I just don't like it. I also don't uh, like using uh, uh, physical force with dogs, especially with these type of dogs. They're very intelligent and uh, it damages your bond with them. And you, you know, just like children, when you treat a dog like that, uh, when they're growing up, they tend to be hard on other dogs and people because that's how they've been treated once they're adults. So my training uh, philosophy uh, is I, I basically really focus on developing a strong tight bond with the dog when they're young. I uh, use a, a lot of praise and affection as my reward for them. And I think it creates a dog that uh, uh, complies uh, more in uh, high stress situations and, uh, you know, in situations where there's something uh, that, they, uh, that they want that stimulated their prey drive because, again, they have a strong bond with you and they want to please you. And that's what you see with my dogs. They don't listen to me because I bribe them with food. They don't listen to me because they think I'm going to smack or discipline them if they don't come to me. They, they, they listen to me because we have a strong bond between us and they, they want to make me happy. And that's just how over the years after trying many different methods uh, this is the one I've settled on. But don't take my word for it. I'm just some guy on YouTube, right Tim? Yep. <laughs> Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get email notifications when our new videos come out. Check out our merch store. Very nice. Very nice. And I'm not just saying. She's just not cause. just saying because she's my wife. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's all. Bye. Bye from Mr. Kurgan and Mr. Kabar. Well, there they both are after the hike. We get people who ask sometimes, uh, why don't I take the whole pack down with me? Well, this is why. Uh, they ride in the back of my Jeep and it's only big enough for uh, two, three big dogs. Give you a look at the dog vehicle. It's the beautiful Tammy. That's all. Bye. Well, I've designed some new merch. Every uh, month or so, I create some new designs and retire the old ones. I thought I'd show you some of the new ones here. This is our uh, red hand logo. You can see it on a sweatshirt here. That's the back. That's the front. 
We offer this design on a bunch of different products. It's a t-shirt, a bunch of different colors. Tank tops. Fanny pack. And uh, cups. You get a lot of different stuff. Women's shirts. So that's the uh, Red Hand logo. You may have seen me wearing that uh, on the channel. The next design we created for uh, the new store is uh, this one here. It's the Red Hand logo with uh, the Elder Futhark uh, around it comes in many designs and colors. This here is a tri-blend shirt. Also uh, sell it in sweatshirts, women's uh, uh, flowy tank top. Men's tank tops. We also have an alpha din version with uh, a paw handprint on the sleeve and uh, a tear rune on the other sleeve. It says Alpha Den on the back. It comes in many colors. So again, that's the Red Hand Elder Futhark shirt. Next one we uh, have in the store is uh, the uh, Brotherhood logo shirt. It's got uh, the hand logo on the front. Brotherhood logo on the back. All these designs that you see on the shirt are actual tattoos that I have on me. This tattoo here, uh, the Brotherhood tattoo is on my ribs. Uh, my hand logo tattoo I have on my arm. And it comes in a bunch of colors, a bunch of different products, cups, you can even buy a fanny pack. t-shirts so that's the brotherhood shirt here we have uh, the hand logo with the uh, elder futhark again around it and it's got my hand logo on the front it comes in a bunch of different colors different sweatshirts, fanny pack, women's shirts, again that's the rune logo with the white hand. And then for those uh, who like my grilling series, we have the uh, Grill Pimp shirts. It says grilling ain't easy on the front. And on the back here comes in a number of different colors. And sweatshirts, t-shirts, tank tops, women's flowy tank top. All kinds of stuff. So again, those are the uh, five new designs in the store. I hope you liked it. I appreciate all those people who've uh, been supporting the channel and uh, buying merch. Uh, again, me and Tammy both thank you very much. It's a good way to help support the channel. You'll find a link uh, to my uh, Teespring store uh, at the bottom of uh, any video that I do. And uh, you'll also find a tab for it on my YouTube channel. Thanks again, everyone. Bye.